It is fused with anterior superior spine. From down, it is split it into two legs. And in the same time, it makes that fold. Look, it makes the fold. Fold, it is duplication. Now, this fold, which is between two my hands, you see, from upwards, anterior superior spine, from down, then uh, to the perimeter, see to stop. This is in the the human. This is your natural border between your abdomen and your lower extremity. And for the health, for the folicles. Yes. Certain that only in the uh, Here, follicles, not only, but mainly located in hypogastral regions. Mainly. For the males, they can be spread it by midline also. Usually they spread it up to umbilicus. Sometimes they can come up to process and continue to the thorax region. Yes. What is here important for you? First of all, if there are hair follicles, we have carpuncles and we have paracles, which we discussed before. Yeah. Second importance, you look to the patient and you can try to understand the male have hormonal problems, say with female, have hormonal problems, vice versa, testosterone, yeah, for females. If it will be changed, you will see difference in hair coverage. For the males, instead of horizontal upper border, it can obliquely ascend it. For the female, males, instead of weak border, it can be horizontal. It's like endocrinological problems. Of course, it is not final diagnosis, you understand. It is what we call inspection. Generally, Generally how you make, for example, I am your patient, Tajwoko, of course. I come to you. How you will start to make my investigations? Physical examination? No. General review. You start, first of all, from anamnesis. That's why you must to collect the anamnesis of the case. We call it anamnesis morbid. Then you will collect it anamnes vitae, anamnes of my life. Only after this you will start to make objective methods of investigation. Anamnes with this is side to side or back to side? Huh? You go back to side. Mm -hmm. I mean, in all medical practices, doesn't mean you will work in the oncology, mm -hmm. in surgery, or in uh, cardiovascular medicine, doesn't matter. Patient come to you, first of all, what do you make? You make conversation. You ask him about his or her problem, it doesn't matter. Then you make objective methods. First objective method is inspection. You look to the person. You look to his face, you look to his skin, you look to his body. What you will try to find? Some abnormalities, asymmetries, changing of the colors. I make inspection, after inspection, I will make physical methods, we should say. Observations, conclusion, auscultation, tracing this is the physical method. After this, I will come to special methods of investigation, which is divided into laboratory methods and instrumental methods. And finally, I will put the diagnosis. I will write, you have such kind of disease. According to these methods of investigation, I put your diagnosis. Can I start, please? Terminal line from where? Which termic? Terminal line. Yes, from where? Terminal analysis. If you will go to take my uh, from my uh, room the pelvic model, you will see that in the internal surface of uh, yeah. iliac bones, which is continued to the pubic bones, we have the prominent line. This line we call linear terminalis. Above it, you have abdomen. Below it, you have pelvis. By the way, lowest part of abdomen, which is above linea terminalis, but between iliac bones, we call great pelvis or false pelvis. This is abdomen. We call it pelvis, but it is above linea terminalis. This is terminal portion. Hold your hands, Hamzajan. This is wings of our iliac bones. 
This is linea terminalis. Part of the cavity, which is on the level of wings of iliac bone, but above linea terminalis, we call great or false pelvis. It is part of abdominal. Part of the pelvis, which is below linea terminalis, it is true pelvis or small pelvis. This is a real pelvis. Thank you very much. What else? The pelvis we will study, guys. Don't catch to the next topic. Sorry, but uh, I can't imagine it. Go be a very convenient for you if I near of my computer, please. Hey, you, you. Take the uh, pelvic bones and come here. Sorry, but I can't imagine. No, no problem, friends. That's why, that's why we make the lesson to imagine everything. This is the best type of the lesson that the students is active, that the students ask the questions. But of course, the questions must have connection with the subject. Yes. It is three centimeters below the uh, umbilical. I will show you now. Wait for me. He will. He will take it before he will come. Write the next topic, please. Uh, arterial supply and innervation of anterior abdominal wall. Arterial supply and innervation of anterior abdominal wall. Uh, right, please. All vessels and nerves in anterior abdominal wall divided into two big groups. Superficial and weak. Superficial and weak. Friends. Uh, thank you very much. Thanks. Oh, okay. This is pelvic bones. You remember, pelvic bones has three compartments which is fused to each other and forms synastos, junction of the bones by bony tissue. Iliac bone, cubic bone, ischialic bone. And behind we have the cerebrum, part of the vertebra, yeah, which is connected right and left pelvic bones and make the joint. Sacroiliac joints. This is sacroiliac joints. Now look everybody to this line. Do you see? It is start by promontorium of sacrum, then it is continuous by linea terminalis and passed by upper margin of upper branch of the pubic bone. Complete ring. This is the lesser pelvis. This is lesser pelvis. Below this complete ring. This is greater pelvis. Greater pelvis that is abdomen, but it is located between pelvic bones. Your organs of abdominal cavity, small intestine, yeah? Yes. Partly large intestine, greater mantle, will be sent it up to this greater <laughs> pelvis. But not but yeah. Yeah. Below we will have pelvic organs. Yeah, seminal vesicles, urinary bladder, uterus, lower parts, vagina. This is organs of true pelvis. What does it mean? Small bit. It means your peritoneum, parietal peritoneum, will form the sac, which is descended up to this linear terminalis. Do you understand me? Below this linear terminalis will be organs which is covered by peritoneum, extra peritoneum. That's why only from above. From above. That's why it will be like that. This is the bottom of the peritoneal cavity. And organs come up to this linea terminalis. This is the organs of abdomen, but they are located in lowest part of abdomen, which we call false pelvis or great, great pelvis. Below this great pelvis, we will have true pelvis. Here organs will be covered only from up extra peritoneum. Inside of peritoneal cavity, we will have intra meso peritoneal mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Also from the up, it is covered the diaphragm. For males and females, after we will study peritoneal cavity, you will see that if for males, peritoneal cavity is open space for females, because by the uteral tubes, it is connected with vagina, and by vagina, it is communicated with environment. For the males, it absolutely closed space. For the males, peritoneal cavity doesn't have any communication with the world. That's why, that's why, 
for the meals, anaerobic infections of peritoneal cavity would be more usual than for females because for females, it's a small amount of the oxygen can provide it into the peritoneal cavity. For males, no. But let's come to my topic, okay? Vessels of the anterior bone. That's a, as I say, you vessels divided into superficial vessels and into this. Superficial the vessels is very simple for you because all of them in the fatty tissue. Let's make a small diagram. Write please the name of it. Superficial vessels of anterior abdominal wall. What I need to draw, structure number one is this anterior superior iliac spine. Structure number two line which I draw, which is inguinal ligament. Below this inguinal ligament, I draw the lower extremity and medially I draw the region of the perineum. Let's draw together the midline of the body, approximately here, the umbilicus. Structure number four, or three, three, three. umbilicus. <laughs> now, many attention to me. From, I divided this inguinal ligament into three different parts. And now from the border between uh, middle and lower thirds, I provided one line from up to down. And you can see that it passed behind of your inguinal ligament. Same or not? Great. From upwards, I put the letter A. From down, I put the letter B. Right, please. A1, it is external iliac artery. Yeah, thank you very much, Hamza Jack. And B1, it is femoral. I want to remind you that your abdominal aorta on the level of L3, L4, split it into two terminal canals. Each one gives two. External, which is supply your lower extremity, and internal, which is supply your pelvis, all your pelvis. Let's say now look, please, here. From this femoral artery, Draw, please, three lines. Line one, first row one. Call it, please, arteria epigastrica superficialis. Line two, circumflex. Thank you very much. Circumflex ibis superficialis. And line three, pubenta. Line three, pubenta externa. Now look, please, here. All these lines, I start from the same point. One centimeter below inguinal ligament, border between middle and lower third of inguinal ligament. What can I say about these three arteries? All of them come to your abdomen from lower extremity. Here, there are some problems. Now, clever persons will remember what I told you in previous semester. It is my semester. In previous semester, I told you that in extremities, the tissue contains only vessel veins. Does doesn't contain arteries. But why it is happening? Here. It is exceptional. But these arteries, guys, in lower extremity, doesn't supply anything. They are not functional. They just originate it here and leave this space, come to anterior wall and supply structures in anterior wall. In the same time, you see it is an exception and not because in lower extremity, in fact, it doesn't have, it doesn't have any function. This is just the transitory pass structures, nothing more. Let's say remember, please, all these arteries pass with the same main veins, which is drained into the femoral vein, which is belong to the inferior cabal venous system. Is it understandable for you? Very well. We understand superficial vessels. What about nerves? Now look to me. Six inferior your intercostal neurovascular bundle from the thorax descending to your anterior wall. But it is not superficial. They located deep in between the muscles. But each one gives the skin branch. Mm -hmm. Skin branches has special arrangement. Look, seven, eight, nine, above umbilicus, ten, on the level of umbilicus, eleven, twelve, below umbilicus. Now Hamza can ask me what the importance of this information. Hamza just stand up. For example, Hajmut, let's imagine that our friend has trauma of the thorax, for example. I don't have X-ray and I cannot check normally where it is located, what I can do. I will take the needle and will try to check the sensitivity in the anterior abdominal wall. 
I can find two situations, three situations, normostasia, hypostasia, hyperstasia. Normostasia, he normally feels this pain from both sides. Hypostasia, he will say, you know, sir, like I drink some anesthetic, I don't feel anything. Hypersthesia, I make the touchment, is also painful, is it? It is will show for me without X-ray, level of which ribs is damaged, or level of which rib is pressed. Because here, I will find some problems with innervation. According to the, yeah, Let's symmetrical see. location, we don't, and it is your, sit down, please. We call it segmental innervation of our body. You know, spinal nerves provide it segmental innervation of the myotomes or uh, dermatomes skin. That's a, it is very useful method in neurological practice yeah, to understand the level of location of the problem. That's why remember, interpostal vessels in nerves located deep, but they give the superficial branches, which is coming up the tissue. Seven, eight, nine. Above the milicus, ten. On the level of milicus, eleven, twelve. Below the level of milicus. Great, friends. You are very clever. We finished to speak about fatty tissue. Now, right, please. Deep vessels. Why I say you that superficial vessels is more simple than deep vessels? For example, in control work, in exam, I ask you, friend, tell me superficial vessels in the you will say exactly, you know, sir, all of them located in fatty tissue. Can you say same for deep? No. no. You know only that deep vessels in nerves located deep in fatty tissue, but inside of which layer you don't know because they are located in different places. This is why deep vessels is more hard for you than superficial. Because for superficial at once, you know place of location for deep. That's a right to remember. Deep vessels and nerves located in three different places. Only three. And first place, we need attention in the picture, please. In this picture, you can see that in this side, yeah, we have the uh, transverse abdominal muscle, yeah? And in front of transverse abdominal muscle, we have internal oblique muscle. Yeah. And between them, there are loose connective tissue. They doesn't touch to each other. Between them, there are loose connective tissues. So internal muscle and the external muscle is removed, and you can see transverse, yeah. transverse abdominal muscle. Yeah. Transverse yeah. abdominal yeah. muscle. Yeah. In front of it, there are internal muscle. Between these transverse and internal, between us, there are loose connective tissues. This loose connective tissue yeah. is first place, which is yeah. the deep vessels. Right, please. E. Six inferior intercostal neurovascular vessels. Two minutes before, I speak about skin branches, yeah, of this nerve. Yes. But the main tracks located between these two muscles, mm -hmm. between internal oblique and between transverse abdominal. Now look to me, everybody. Finally, they will come to the spiegel line, mm -hmm. lateral margin of your leg, and will be inserted inside of intersection tendons mm -hmm. of the rectus muscle. Yes. Three. Look. yes, thank you very much. You are absolutely right. Look please here. Uh -huh. Intersection tendons yes. of the rectus muscle. Right. That's why, guys, the most dangerous place for surgical incision mm -hmm. in anterior abdominal wall, mm -hmm. it is intersection tendons. Then you cut intersection tendons, you damage the main trunk of vessels and nerves, which is supply anterior uh, rectus muscle, and it gives hypertrophia of this Hermia. muscle. Hernia. Hernia, thank you very much. Look, friends, last time, oh, I'm a clever person, he catch at once such kind of the problems, but you also will understand. Then I make the lecture with you, I told you that in anterior wall there are weak places. Yes, right but sorry, only weak places, it's not enough to have hernia, otherwise all the persons will have the hernia. Mm -hmm. and so what is necessary to have hernia? Weakness of weak place. Mm -hmm. You understand me? If the person has only weak place, you have weak place, we have weak places, but we touch wood, don't have hernia. 
Because only weak please is not enough. But the weakness of the weak. How it can be happen, friend? Weakness of weak please. For example, with a green layer. Layer is absence. Who is here? Everything. Smoke cigarettes. Person who can have twice more chance of formation of hernia than me. Why? Because then you will smoke the cigarettes, we need attention. It means constriction of vessels. <coughs> if it is me constriction of vessels, it means weaker, weak place. Weak place is weak and vascularization is destroyed. It is become extra more weak. weak. Of course, extra weak. Or problem of innervation. Ne innervation is damaged, also place will be weaker. Or postoperative scar. Tell me, please, in your opinion, why postoperative scar make the region weaker? Because the spell will not be the same. The leg will not be the same as it was. And what? I think I told you last time that then you, for example, chewing the panebros, it is stronger than muscle. For example, I cut six of muscles instead of them one connective tissue. Yes. 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 And first of all, this connective tissue spaces between you will be closed. Close. You don't think why your amniotus it is depression. It is depression because it is scar. It is scar because then you lose your umbilical cord. All the layers fuse to each other, and all connective tissues is closed. By the way, one minute. Remember, please, in the region of your umbilicus. There are only three layers. Skin. It is skin, it is upper nebulose, and it is transverse fascia with the parietal peritoneum. Mm -hmm. Three layers. Remember about it, please. Mm -hmm. Any connective tissues is absent here. Any connective tissues. No one in back space, not subcutaneous space. No superficial tissue. No superficial tissue because it fused. No even transverse fascia. Generally, there are parietal peritoneum. Transverse fascia fuse with it. Fascia is very slim. They fuse. Mm -hmm. They close. They remove. Okay, let's continue. Inside of the same space between internal oblique and transverse muscle, we have four pairs of lumbar vessels. Lumbar arteries and lumbar leads. What is it? I want to remind you from anatomy that your aorta abdominalis gives two types of the branches, single and double. They divide it into parietal and into the visceral. One of the double branches, it is lumbar vessels. Lumbar vessels supply the muscles in your lumbar region, but terminal branches come to anterior abdominal wall. And they locate it again between transverse abdominal and internal oblique muscles. Veins again belong to inferior cavalry. They train exactly into the inferior cavalry. Little after you will see why it is important. And continue, the say first group of vessels, big vessels, it is six inferior intercostal. Second group, it is the lumbar vessels. Last two structures, it is nerves. Nervous iliovinalis, iliohapaginal vessel. You remember, it is level of T12, L1, lumbar plexus. What is the importance of this nerves? First one, ego inguinalis. Now question for you. Stand up, please. What is your name? Remind me. Anashvera. 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 Anashvera, tell me please. Nervous ego inguinalis, which is between the internal oblique and transverse abdominal muscles. How it can enter the inguinal canal? Mm -hmm. 